What's going on everybody? So super excited. I just got this in the mail today. I've been waiting on this for several weeks now. Uh, my voice is just a little bit off. It's because I've been sick for the past couple uh, past couple days. Little crib midgets. They love spreading joy and sickness all around. So anyways, need a new holster. And the primary reason why I need a new holster is because I am switching over from carrying my Glock 17 or the 19L as I call it. Uh, to my M&P 2.0 compact. I tend to kind of gravitate more towards M&Ps uh, primarily just because I like the way that they shoot. They just seem to fit um, my comfort zone for what I like in a pistol. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I don't like my Glock. Uh, there's a reason why I have it still. Anyways, that's besides the point. So my new daily carry is actually gonna be this guy, which is my 2.0 compact. Um, We'll kind of do an overview on this, I guess, at a different time. But this is what I'm going to be carrying from here on out. And I needed a holster that was going to fit it. So I uh, went ahead and ordered a holster from the guys over at Tier 1 Concealed. And it just came in the mail today. So figured we go ahead and box it. Yes, I already opened the box. But I haven't actually looked at the holster or anything like that inside. Because I figured I'd go ahead and do that on camera. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing uh, greeted with, we got a neat little uh, tier one concealed sticker in there. Add that to my truck. This is actually kind of cool. So it comes with a neat little bag that the holster comes in. So that's actually kind of a nice touch. And then it's got a little note in here. It says, let's see, holster hardware maintenance and retention adjustment. Cool, read that later. And then of course, the receipt for it. And outside of that, just a bunch of extra packing stuff. So let's go ahead and get into what's inside the bag. Look at this. Oh man. I'm not gonna lie, this thing makes a hell of a first impression. Everything from the fit, the finish on it, out of the gate just look absolutely phenomenal. It is gorgeous. I mean, it was funny because you don't really know uh, what the colors are gonna look like on their website unless you just kind of scroll through pictures and even then, Pictures don't exactly look quite the same as they do in real life sometimes. You know, certain cameras have different color tones, but this is exactly, exactly what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and go over it real quick. So I got this with the wolf gray front and then the neon green backing on it. Uh, this is the tier one concealed access slim. So this guy is kind of their more narrow model compared to their uh, standard access. The setup that I got it for was for my MP 2.0 compact. Uh, so this guy does have a TLR seven on it and I don't currently have my threaded barrel in it with my compensator on it. I'm actually kind of digging running it without a compensator right now. Carry standard 15 round magazines. I don't have the extensions on, or the 17 round mags with the pinky extensions on it. And I'm planning on carrying a spare 15 on the holster as well. So that is basically what I ordered this setup for. Man, just looks absolutely, I mean, look at that. Look at the clip on there. It's even got their name on it and their logos on the belt clips. All of this stuff is very much branded to them. This holster just, is all right so uh let's go ahead and give it a shot so one of the things i am going to do is i'm actually going to switch over to this guy real quick because this is the m p 2.0 compact that i've got that's kind of my tna gun i guess you could say uh this is what i've really kind of experimented on to kind of uh develop some of the slide designs and things like that that i do on the MPs. so this one has actually got my threaded barrel in it from faxon and i'm actually going to go ahead and put the compensator on here and see how all of that fits because I didn't tell them on the order form when you first order these that I was going to put a compensator on it. Actually, I just selected, yeah, I've got a threaded barrel um, and I completely forgot to put in the notes that there is going to be a compensator on the pistol that I'm running or there might be. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to carry it with a comp yet. I'm kind of still weighing that. This is actually more so how I'm probably going to carry 
the gun. Uh, I've got plenty of rounds through both of these things and honestly I like both of them. They're both excellent. They both shoot just fine. They've proven reliable for me. So, And I'm actually probably going to put an optic on here real quick and just kind of see whether or not that fits in there as well. That is something I did actually order on there. This is basically the uh, test setup, I guess you could say. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Oh man, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty solid retention. I'm trying to take a look at where it's actually retaining at. That just feels absolutely solid. Whew, that's that's cool. All right, and then let's see what the magazine. And there it is. I guess the next thing is, uh, let's try it on. Uh, we'll just go ahead and skip this part because it's probably a little bit awkward. All right, so I don't know how well you guys can see that. Let me try and get the ISO up a little bit. All right, there it is. And on a super skinny guy like me, hands down on my side, just like normal. Woo. Let's see if I can sit down with this thing. Yeah, no issues at all. This thing's absolutely super comfortable. It's like it's not even there right now. Oh, that is insanely impressive. I mean, you think about this, and that is a 15 round plus one in the MP. So there's that plus an extra 15. You know what? I'm actually kind of curious about something. Hold on one second. All right, so this is one of the 17 rounders, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slam one of these extensions on here. Basically what they'll do is you take your 17 round magazine with those little uh, pinky extensions, I guess, that Smith gives you in the box, and on a 2.0 compact, that allows you to use the 17 round magazines with this little extension on here, which kind of gives you like a Glock 19X, Glock 45 style thing. Curious about a couple things. Number one, I wanna see how this conceals. Number two, actually, hold on. Grab another 17 and just see what that conceals like. All right, so let's check that out. Go ahead and put that guy in there. And you guys can see this ends up sticking out a little bit more, which is the primary reason why I don't carry full-size grip guns. My 17 is actually cut down to a 19 length. This guy is what I'm really curious about. So let's go ahead and take him and put that in there. And wow, actually not too bad. There's a little bit right here, but if I just take that out, throw in one of the 15s, Look at that. And I'm not in any way, shape, or form got the type of body that usually, um, I would expect, makes it easier to conceal these kinds of things. Uh, the main reason why I say that is because, you know, guys that have a, like a larger upper chest area, right, and they're built like men instead of high school, like, kids, they have a little bit easier of a time carrying appendix and concealing that because it creates a natural overhang over their waistline, whereas, skinny guys like me have a little bit tougher over time. Pretty excited about the fact of how well it conceals. First impressions definitely are awesome. I'm gonna kind of play with this, fiddle around with it a little bit, fine tune it and kind of get it dialed into uh, what I'm gonna like to carry it as far as ride height. And if you guys are thinking about picking up a holster, whew, first impressions from tier one concealed, holy crap. Uh, those guys knocked it out of the park. This was supposed to be really quick, just kind of first impressions, but pretty blown away by it. Definitely, uh, the reputation is pretty accurate for what these guys turn out. If you like this video, guys, hit like below. If not, appreciate you guys watching for this long at least, and I will talk to you guys next time.